recording. There you go. Got it. Okay. Hi, everyone. So today we are going to make the um, the TikTok cinnamon rolls. I've been watching a bunch of videos on it, and I just decided, hey, we need to try this out. So the first thing that we're going to do, well, actually, let me tell you the stuff that we need first. So we need um, heavy whipping cream. We need canned cinnamon rolls. So just the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. We need, wait, I forgot it. We need butter and brown sugar. It doesn't say if it's supposed to be light or brown. I don't know, whatever. Um, brown sugar and we need cinnamon. And it's optional if you wanna put like chopped pecans or whatever kind of nuts that you like, maybe walnuts or something. So that's optional. I didn't end up getting pecans, I forgot. So what we need to do is we're going to preheat our oven to 350 and we need a baking pan or dish. So I'm using this one. It's kind of big, but this is the only one I could find. So we need to preheat our oven to 350 and then we're going to pour one cup of heavy whipping cream into our baking dish. So let us do that. So here's our baking sheet. I'm gonna put on some gloves. Okay. Now we need our whipping cream. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it, but I do. Okay, and then we're just gonna get one cup, pour this in here. Just like that. And whipping cream is thick, so gotta make sure we get every last drop. And then I'm just gonna coat the bottom of the pan. And then we're gonna take our, it says add store-bought cinnamon rolls on top of the poured whipped cream. So we're just gonna open these up. Oh God, it shocks me every time. Okay, so I'm gonna do the cinnamon side up. So I'm just gonna place them in there. Those look good. Yeah, they're good. And it smells good too. Okay, so then I just place them here. And then I'm gonna take this out. If it'll come out, come on. All right, I'll just throw that aside. Put this away. All right, so now we got that in there and now we're going to add butter to a small stove top skillet and heat slowly over medium heat. So now I'm gonna redirect you guys this way to my stove. And so this is my small pot that I'm gonna use. Let me turn it on. And my butter, oh, here it is. So we're gonna get the stick of butter. Let's give it two more minutes. 
Okay, so I'm going to open up the butter. And we're just going to set it in here. Put it on the stove top. We need something like this. All right, now add butter to small stovetop skillet and heat slowly over medium heat. Once butter is fully melted, add brown sugar and three tablespoons of whipping cream. Okay. And then cinnamon as desired. So let me see how much um, brown sugar that we need. Does it not say? Do, 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 do. Sorry, guys. I think it's a cup. Yeah, it's a cup. Okay, so I'm going to use this same thing here and I'm going to pour out a cup of brown sugar just to have it ready. We got to let that butter melt first. Making a mess. Okay. So we got our cup of brown sugar here, maybe a little more. Does anyone have any questions so far? It's a pretty easy recipe. It's just the only thing is you gotta wait for the cinnamon rolls to cook and that takes a while okay so we're just letting this butter melt up i'm going to chop it up a bit mm. Okay, and once that's fully melted, then I'll add the brown sugar. And some cinnamon. Stuff away. Clean as we go. All right, we'll melt in it. I'll show you my progress so far. Oh, <coughs> it's melting though. It's a little bit longer. Um, I think we're done with the heavy whipping cream and we're just gonna need the cinnamon and Brown sugar. Hi, dear. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Good. Miss you. melted. So I'm going to put the brown sugar in, okay? This is dangerous. Okay. Now I'm just going to dump the brown sugar in. Oh my god, guys, it smells so good already. And then I'm going to mix up the sugar. And so to keys. What was that, Kim? I said, hold your some to keys. 
Oh. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be any left, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put um, a decent amount of cinnamon. Let's say like a tablespoon. Okay, a tablespoon and a half. Who am I kidding? Okay, and then we're going to mix this up. And let me put this on low because it's starting. We don't want the uh, butter to burn. Yeah. So we're mixing it up and we want it to have a nice brown color. Okay. I'm actually going to turn this off because I don't want to turn. Okay. So <coughs> we have a really brown. So my M don't work right now color. Now let me turn you guys back here and down so you can see the cinnamon roll. Okay. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to get this uh, brown sugar and uh, cinnamon and butter mixture going. And I'm just going to flop it on top. Oh gosh. It looks so good. <coughs> it's not even cooked yet, guys. Oh my God. Goodness. I know, but the chocolate look good. <laughs> All right. Yummy, yummy. I'll need a little more. Good half. Guys, it smells like Cinnabon. All at the mall. Oh, no. Yeah, at the yeah. mall. Let me take off these gloves. Because then I'm making coffee at the food club. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do is put these babies in the oven. Starbucks. All right. So, let's look at you guys now. Okay, so we're gonna set a timer. Where's the time? Okay, so it says 13 to 17 minutes. Time but our Anna. Our oven is kind of slow, so we're going to do seven. Hold on, don't you tell me. What? Okay, 17 minutes. So um, if you guys were to do the pecans or nuts, there's extra steps. It just says, I'm doing my class. Oh, no. it says dump in pieces of pecans and stir well into the um, butter and brown sugar mixture. And then it says pour mixture on top of cinnamon rolls in the baking dish. And it says put cinnamon rolls in the oven with a baking time of about 13 to 17 minutes. But like I said, our oven is kind of slow. So I just did the full 17 minutes. Okay. And then it says, or until centers are well done and bubbly. So yeah. Okay. And then it says once cooked, remove cinnamon rolls and drizzle with the canned frosting that came with the original rolls and serve well hot. So you could either put this frosting that it comes with, or you could even make like a, um, a cream cheese frosting. Me and Dara were talking about that earlier and I like cream cheese. I feel like the um, icing is too sweet. So yeah, the cream cheese frosting would probably be real good. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that is the recipe. I just got to wait the 17, 16 minutes now. But that's it. And I'll show you a picture of what theirs look like. That's the picture of the TikTok recipe. They look super yummy. And I actually made a batch before class so I could show you guys because we're not going to be able to wait the whole 17 minutes. So I'm going to show you guys these ones that I just got out the oven. Christina. Yes. Chris said that you should leave her one on her desk for tomorrow morning. 
Hmm, I don't know. We were kind of excited about them. <laughs> if there is, well, no, we have two batches going. So yes, I will do that. <laughs> so you should leave her two and she can bring me one when she comes mm, out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So this is the finished product. Um, without the icing but I was thinking not putting the icing because some people might not want it and if they do want it they could just you know put their own but yeah that's it I'm going to grab a plate and put one on there so you guys can see it better oh Leslie said she'll be my tester I love how willing Do you want to try it with the um, frosting on it? All right. Okay. So, get a spatula here. Let's give her a nice juicy one. Yummy. Put it in the plate. And then... We're gonna give her some frosting. Bam. And they're still hot because I just Dara just got them out the oven for me. Okay. And I'm just swirling this frosting around. Look good. Can you see it? It looks yummy, right? Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, turn the camera to Leslie so she could try it for you guys. Okay. Because it is hot, I'm going to cut it. I don't want to burn myself. She doesn't want to hurt herself. Safety first, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this smells so good. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, Yay! Really good. Thank awesome. you. Thank you for trying for us. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> all right, guys. And that's all. It's pretty simple, so... Hopefully hey, you guys try it with your family. Give some to Nicole. Awesome. Huh? Yeah, give some to Nicole. I agree, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If Chris is willing to take her one, then. Oh, Chris. Hey, Chris. <laughs> you guys should make them tomorrow. We should make them tomorrow. That's a good idea. Yeah, you should. Yeah. The members will really like them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll coach them tomorrow. That's fine. <laughs> I think they'd be nice so, fresh anyway. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, we gonna do it tomorrow, dude. Does anyone have any questions? No. No. Mm -mm. No. But no. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you guys joined and got to watch. I hope that you guys try them with your families. And once I the would, I off, had I'm gonna oven. try one myself. <laughs> I would. I had an oven. Yeah. My oven is out. Oh, it went out? Darn it. Yeah. Gotta fix it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Christina. Hey. Class. No Yay. problem. Hey, Nicole.